Hi, I'm Matt Beagle, and this is your Stratomatic Strategy Session. This month, we're going to talk about Super Howl Bullpen Management, a way to add wins to your team season by accurately and effectively setting up your Super Howl Bullpen Manager. Remember, last month we talked about memento lineup construction, thinking about the end of the game when setting up your lineup. Well, for Super Howl Bullpen, it's just as important to start at the end because what Howl does is goes down simple logic lines starting with line one to see if that logic line applies before going to the rest of your bullpen management. So therefore you want to start off with your most important situation in logic line number one, your closer. Obviously when you have a closer you want them to be using save situations so let's look at those logic lines to see when the save situation applies. It's just like real life. You don't just decide in the bottom of the eighth inning which pitcher you're going to bring in. You've thought about it ahead of time. You determine which situation you'd use which pitchers, just like a major league manager. So in logic line one, like every logic line, you start off with a score first. If you want it to be a save situation, that would be one to three runs, for example. If you want to bring in a pitcher when you're down by one to three runs, it would be negative one to negative three runs. The next thing you look at is the number of outs. What inning of the game do you want to use this person? Stratomatic counts outs instead of innings when programming Super Hal. So if you're a closer, for the ninth inning only, for example, you'd want to use 24 outs. Maybe you'd put 24 to 99 in that logic line to make sure you've taken into account extra innings. If you use that, your closer will never come in before the eighth inning by properly setting up your logic lines. If you don't want him to come in until the seventh inning, then you start your logic line after after out 18 till whatever point of the game you want for your second uh, entry in the number of outs. The next thing you do is look at the type of batter you're facing. There are five different toggle boxes to decide which pitchers you'd bring in against which types of batters. They're easily identified by Stratomatic. R for right-handed batters, L for lefties, S for switch hitters. A capital R or capital L means they're very much like a typical hitter, like you use a typical manager. Uh, capital R means they're worse against right-handed batters, or excuse me, right-handed pitchers, and a capital L means the batter's worse against left-handed pitchers. By the same token, using the lowercase letter means they're opposite of what you'd normally think. A small r means it's a right-handed batter who's actually better against right-handed pitchers, and similarly, a small l means that that's a left-handed batter who actually hits left-handed pitchers better. And when you're using a season stats, you find that those happen more often than you would think. You can also then toggle the box for switch hitters. So for each logic line, that will only apply if each condition is met. It has to be within the score parameters, it has to be within the number of outs you've outlined, and it has to be the correct type of hitter that you've selected in the toggle box. If it doesn't apply, Super Howl will go to the next logic line. So if you have a hard righty, a right-handed reliever who's really good against right-handed batters, you may only toggle the capital R box with the score situation and outs. If it's a left-handed batter, a switch hitter, or a backwards right-handed batter, one who's better against righties, it will skip that logic line and go to the next. And that allows you to have up to five different logic lines for each situation. And that allows you, if you have a bullpen full of one-sided relievers, to really use your bullpen to the best of your advantage like you were managing the team live yourself. And isn't that the whole point of Super Hal? The next thing is to figure out which type of order of pitchers you'd want in that situation. If Hal decides that logic line applies, it then looks for the letter under the order column. It then goes to that letter over to the left-hand side of the box where you order the pitchers in the way you'd like them used in that situation. Obviously the top coming in first, the second pitcher coming in second, the third coming in third. So for every situation you outline in your logic line, you can pick a separate order of pitchers if that situation arises. And again, that allows you to go just like you're managing it live and pick exactly what pitcher you want in exactly which situation. You can also check a box that says force closer, and that means that no matter who's pitching, Super Howl will always put your closer in in that situation. Sometimes you really want that. Sometimes you want to stick with a hot pitcher, depending on how good your closer is and what the matchup is. So for each manager in each situation, some like to use the force closer box, some don't. But that will give you a chance if you have a really strong closer and you want to use him a lot. If you check the force closer box, he will come in in those late inning situations for your bullpen. Also to remember, make sure you have a, an overall mop-up set up. 
And their very last logic line should be negative 99 runs to 99 runs, negative 99 outs to 90 or zero outs to 99 outs. And what that does is gives you an order of pitchers you use, sort of a catch-all, um, so you don't have to do as many logic lines. If you've done from innings six to nine, for example, you may just want to have one overall line for all types of hitters before the sixth inning, for example, if your pitcher's gotten hit and given a lot of runs up early. If this sounds a little overwhelming for you, Stratomatic has a great light version and doesn't have all these different intricacies involved. It still gives you a great Stratomatic experience with a lot of the features you've come to expect, gets you used to the Stratomatic game, and you can get used to the more complicated features one by one as you get more familiar with the game. For Stratomatic Strategy Session, I'm Matt Beagle.